Speculation had been mounting for days over the contents of a folder carried by Kim Yo-chong, the sister of Kim Jong-un, who is in South Korea with the DPRK's Olympic delegation. All was revealed at a formal meeting with President Moon Jae-in on Saturday, which she attended along with other senior DPRK officials. Kim Yo-jong took Sanun. The special envoy Kim Yo-jun delivered a letter from Kim Jong-un, chairman of the State Affairs Commission, which contains his willingness to improve the inter-Korea relationship. Then she verbally delivered Chairman Kim Jong-un's invitation to Pyongyang at a convenient time, saying he is willing to meet President Moon Jae-in at the earliest date. President Moon responded by saying the two Koreas should make it happen. Though he told the delegation Pyongyang should also resume dialogue with Washington. Moon had already met with Kim Yo-chong and Kim Yong-nam at the Winter Olympic opening ceremony, though U.S. Vice President Mike Pence kept his eyes on the athletes. U.S. President Donald Trump has already made it clear that he believes Pyongyang is using its soft power to soften President Moon Jae-in's opposition to its nuclear and missile programs and to drive a wedge between Seoul and Washington. It's a concern shared by many here in South Korea, where there has been a lot of support for the visiting delegation, but also small vocal protests. Though the UN's former Secretary General said he hoped talks at the historic Winter Olympics could go further. Thereby we can reduce tension on the Korean Peninsula and we can move in uh, toward the direction of uh, further dialogue, uh, achieving denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula, which will be critically important for eventual reunification. It's difficult to overstate the historic importance of Saturday's meeting and invitation. But most analysts say it's just as difficult to imagine how the feel-good mood at the Olympics might translate into more serious discussions in the short to medium term about denuclearizing the Korean peninsula. Jack Barton, CGTN, Seoul.